Yo, hey, 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 caught you mid drink. Woo! Here, here you are <laughs> drinking in the backstage. I was gonna James, say, you and it's water, <laughs> trust me. Wink, wink. Yeah. <laughs> hey, welcome to my nerd swag TV. It's <clears throat> Sunday night live, baby. Yes, and uh, let us know who's hanging out with us tonight. Hey, what's up, George? So, man, George, glad everyone's on tonight. All right, all right. So, um, we're gonna we're not doing a haul this week. I don't know about you. It has been a crazy week. I have not bought anything, not even on uh, online auction. Um, and and the stuff I have bought hasn't come in. So I got nothing for a haul, except uh, I think you and I have the same thing for a haul this week. Yes. Ready? Simultaneously. Yeah. Oh. Boom. <laughs> hey, hold it. If you do it right, you can make the same face. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, here we go. That was terrible. That was a... I mine I can't do that anymore. I had my teeth filed down. So <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, so actually, we're gonna be talking with one of the uh, authors on uh, <coughs> this is Harvest of Horrors number two in the anthology series, and uh, so we'll be talking with him. Uh, do we introduce ourselves? Everyone should know us. I'm Terry, the Nerd Pastor. This James is- Hostler, sorry, writer creator <laughs> of the Bobcat. And uh, we're gonna pop uh, Evan on here real quick. How about that? Let's just hop. Let's just have him hop on. Ready? Everybody, we welcome go. Evan Posius. Ah! Yes. <laughs> Yo, what up, Evan? <laughs> yes. Up? What is Brian? going on, man? What is <laughs> going on? Evan. Great Dude, to be back on. Man, so we got a lot to talk about. You sent me a bunch of stuff, but man, you are you are a workhorse. Yes. Uh, and, uh, just in the amount of writing you're doing right now, bro. So uh, we we picked up this story right here. This awesome. is available. Now, l- let me ask you this. We picked this up on Amazon. Yes. Uh, Amazon doesn't care about your book. <laughs> <laughs> Did yours get beat up too? Oh, they yeah. beat mine to death. Yeah. Yeah, I I think the guy frisbeed it up onto the uh, thing. Yeah, it's it's yeah. beat up. So if you look at the binding um, here, it's kind of like a U shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah I think that, I think that the cover is actually terrifying. The Amazon drawing. <laughs> 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 like, get get that piece of satanic artwork out of my. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we, you you'll receive a notice. Unable to deliver because fear of package. Yeah, that's hilarious, yes. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's saying you gotta you gotta be hustling every day, man. What's up, George? What's up, Brian? Hey, Brian. Yo. Okay, so uh, <coughs> yeah, so you got this new project that came out. It's it's published through Second Sight. Is it available on Caliber? Yes. yes. Um, actually, this is a joint venture between Second Sight and Caliber. Yeah. Uh, Caliber was handling the printing and the distribution. Yeah. Um, so the book is going to be available. It's on Amazon now, but it'll be available on Barnes and Noble, Walmart. And then also, uh, you can pre-order it on previews nice. at your local comic book shop. Awesome, yeah. epic, bro! Awesome, that's Thank amazing. You. Thank oh, cool. you. Cool. So is, that's amazing deal you worked out. You're gonna have it at Walmart, even? Yeah, yeah, Walmart. Yeah, yeah, that'd pretty be great, man. Yeah, that's cool. Very. Yeah, cool. it's uh. So the stories inside it, man. So everyone's got uh. There's a bunch of stories written by different authors, um, and and yours, man. I'll just put it up here. I got the artwork too, but. Uh, is that the front page? Yeah, that's the front page. There we go. I don't have to be nice. Great to intro it. page. Classic, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Let me pull it up. Let me share the artwork. So, but uh, yeah, what, what's some inspiration that goes into writing horror? Is that kind of, is that, I mean, that's kind of one of the genres you seem to kind of flow in pretty well. Yeah, it's, it's crazy because, you know, I, I did not, uh, you know, grow up a horror fan whatsoever. And, you know, uh, to this day, I, you know, not, you know, uh, super immersed in it. But um, I don't know, it seems like, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, when you're uh, going through uh, life, you, you know, have to put out your emotion on the, on the, on the uh, paper. And, and sometimes that's what come out, comes out. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. There we go. Dude. So who, who's the author or the uh, artist yeah. on this? Yeah. The, uh, the illustrations done by Nick Polilko, um, who is a veteran of Creeps magazine, which is also, uh, which is now known as Shutter magazine. Yes. Um, but he definitely has a retro EC comics vibe. Yep. Um, heavy on the inks. Um, you know, it, it gives you that sort of 1950s kind of feel. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Wow. I was telling you that earlier, Evan. When I opened this up, I was like, this is the stuff I used to pick up off the rack when I was a kid, a young kid. Those worn magazines, a little bit larger size stuff, the, the eerie and creeps and uh, famous monsters. And so I was just eating this up. I'm like, the, the art, the feel, the story, everything was retro in an amazing way. I was, yeah. I was loving it. Yeah, Love it's, it. gorgeous, it's, it's a gorgeous, it's gorgeous art and the story, man, <laughs> story is really well done, bro. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm particularly proud of this because I had been working uh, Marvel style for quite some time. So uh, my script writing was a little rusty and uh, you know, I really wanted to focus uh, to, uh, on making every panel, you know, count and uh, I'm very proud of it. And Nick, Nick knocked it out of the park and also let's uh, not forget about letter squids on the lettering. Oh, I yeah, mean, man. Be the same without him. Yeah, no, it's gorgeous. It's really, it's amazing. Thank it you. It is. Yeah. Yes. Actually, I, and and not just because I know you and we got you on. I, honestly, th this is the art and the writing on this is probably one of the best stories in in the whole anthology. Thank There's you. a couple of really oh, yeah. dark, creepy stories, man. But this one, honest to goodness, makes me uh, more and more of a dog person. So yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I've got a question for you, Evan. Um, <laughs> do you have any cats? You, you, you may have just seen one uh, over my uh, left shoulder just now, actually. But... <laughs> okay. I would, I would suggest feeding them well. That's, that's what I'm going to go with. So, okay. I'm going to throw this in, Evan. I mean, not that I'm the, the major expert or anything, but as a writer, some, some people think that writing the short story, they're like, well, that's just a short story. That's easy. No, there's an art to writing the short story and making it effective and being very efficient with every single panel, just like you said. Yeah. And uh, right, trying to get your, your, your point across, your storyline, everything in a short amount of time, that takes some talent, takes some skill. Yeah, it's, uh, I really wanted to test myself. I mean, it was much more of a challenge to cram everything in in a 12-page story um and you know have a, a proper uh, beginning middle and end um so it's it, it was also you know excellent practice for you know script writing in the future as well absolutely yeah yeah i that's loved it awesome bro yeah so um yeah so that's that's one of the projects you got going on right now um you sent me some other projects but uh so let's just reiterate real quick right now if you want to order this you can get it off of amazon and then you can Yes. Uh, go on Amazon. You can either type my name in, Evan K. Posios, or you can type in Harvest of Horrors, and Volumes 1 and 2 will pop up. Uh, my story, <coughs> Cat Lady, is in Volume 2. Um, and I think uh, people will enjoy it for sure. Yeah. So the, the next time I'm about to show up here is uh, Silence. Yes, yes. Real quick. Thank you, George, by the way. Awesome, George. Yeah, let, me, let me give him credit for giving us a comment here. Absolutely, dude. You'll have it. You'll have it in a matter of hours because I didn't take very long for me to get mine. Okay, now this one's this is a uh, this is available on Second Sight. Uh, yeah, it's published through Second Sight. Uh, the art is by Alex Sanchez, who is my old time grunts buddy. Yeah, and, and uh, the letters are again by Letter Squids, who really. I mean, he. It, it's amazing how you know. Lettering is not talked about as it should be, but it can really, really make or break your story. Yeah, for and, sure. Uh, he's just uh, phenomenal, one of the best out there. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be in shops. Issue one will be in shops October 13th. Um, that is the main cover by Alex Sanchez. And uh, the story deals with stress, which is something we can all relate to from time to time. Yeah. Um, but sort of the dark consequences of letting things got get out of hand in your life and, and the repercussions of that. Awesome. And that Perfect. is the uh, issue one variant cover, which is by the legendary Michael Golden. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, second time I've gotten to work with him, and uh, it's, wow. it's phenomenal. Wow. So uh, this is a book that you can go to your local comic book store? Yes. And yeah, actually, order? Uh, <laughs> yes, and actually uh, it's pretty crazy. Uh, I think shops ordered uh, 2,700 of these worldwide so wow. pretty cool yeah. yeah that's awesome man here's uh this is another variant cover you said or brian yeah. brian silverbacks right there yeah right yeah 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 yep yeah. 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 this is uh uh the issue two variant cover by brian silverbacks who is just fantastic yeah cool. he's all right cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just giving him a hard time we're he's he's amazing the best yeah. cover i have for the whole for the bobcat series so far was uh Brian's cover. 
So there you yeah. go. There you go. Yeah. Look, look at there. Someone's got to make fun of the guy. Or he's going to get a giant yeah. head. It's it's so. both, George. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this one is second. No, that side, one's just second Calibre. side only. That one. Yeah. 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 The Harvest yeah. of Horrors is, is the team up with Second Sight and Cost. Does, does Second Sight have a, a site to go to and order directly from also? Um, you cannot order direct as of right now. Okay. Uh, registered right. being uh, just through Diamond. Right. Perfect. Okay. And, of course, they attend cons almost every weekend as well, so particularly in the South. All right. I like it. Yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll stop by the world's greatest uh, local comic book store, Deadlift Collectibles, and uh, – in Edmond, actually, Oklahoma. Actually, most comic book stores right now are using that, uh, like the online pre-ordering for filling your box. Yeah. Uh, so just check. Yeah, call your local bookstore. You may not even have to go in. You may just go online and get that all filled out and get it going. So that's amazing. Yeah. Now, all three are available to local bookstores, or do you have to do something different to get the variants? Uh, the variants um, are in different quantities, but they will be available in shops. Okay. Yeah. That's cool, man. It's cool. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, Thank I'm you. digging it, bro. So, yeah, so this is a story. Is this going to be more of a – is this like a like a mystery, chiller, uh, just psychological? What kind of a story are we looking at with this? I, this know, is, I know you say it's about stress, but – Yeah, this is definitely on the suspense side. Uh, I think the biggest influences for the series uh, was The Twilight Zone and also yeah. – I don't remember – yeah, I don't know if you remember uh, a DC series from the 70s called Ta Tales of the Unexpected. Yes. Yeah, definitely uh, heavily uh, influenced by that as well. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I might actually yeah. have that behind here. Oh, no, yeah. I, don't. I have a, I have another one from DC. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's awesome, man. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and I love the art. Thank you. Good job, all, everyone. Sweet. And then also you have – I'm going to show last thing, and then we'll just start having some conversations. Speaking of Brian Silverback – uh, I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, uh, <laughs> what is it we say about – I can't think of the saying. Give me the Brian Silverback saying that we said about uh, Kara Prime. It just slipped my – oh, well, it doesn't matter. Oh, Too late now. yeah, I know what you're talking – I can't he, tell He's you. the uh, – oh, good, great. Never mind. It doesn't matter. All right, let me uh, run through this real quick. Oh, wait. Here's another one. This yeah, is this is the – art too, bro. Yeah, that's the issue three variant by a real up-and-comer named Armando Ramirez, uh, and he totally – Knock that out of the park. I love yeah. that. Yeah, I'd love to do some sequential pages with him uh, in the future. That's cool, man. And, of course, the Reaper is holding the scythe there. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, the scythe is part of the uh, logo there on the – Ah, good There's, connection. It's a, double, it's a double scythe. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case people – see, I, I do catch stuff like that, guys. I really I'll, have to pay, I'll have to PayPal you a little bonus, James. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, all right. So uh, you're doing, uh, you're writing also for Kara Prime, uh, yes. which I just remember what it is. Uh, he's the Kevin Feige of Kara Prime. That's that's the thing. Yes. Yes. That's so it. So Brian is the Kevin Feige of Kara Prime. <laughs> yeah. So. He, he has built, for those who don't know, he has built this amazing world called Kara Prime that mixes uh, uh, post-apocalyptic elements in with superheroes. And now we're featuring uh, demons and a demon hunter, uh, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, kind of came up with this character, uh, Sister Kate. Um, she is a former nun uh, turned demon hunter. So a little bit. Of I a, love it. Thank you. Um, and the arts by Stefano Cardicelli, who's just, I mean, fantastic. Um, but it's uh, sort of a little Constantine meets uh, the Punisher. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Uh you sent me a bunch of artwork for this the other day. And I was, I yeah. was reading the story that went along with it. This is, this is a wild story, man. Uh, give us a little background on, on the teddy bear. Can you, or is that something you need to hold off on? Um, I think that's kind of a cool part. Of, is that something that needs to be held off on? Uh, I, I can mention a bit. So, you know, I wanted a sidekick um, yeah. for this nun and um, she's not super social. And the, nun, the teddy bear is sort of a reminder of her previous life and sort of the innocence of it. And uh, let's just say uh, the teddy bear is, is more than just uh, sort of, uh, uh, you know, uh, a memory. Uh, the teddy bear can also uh, do some other things, we'll say. Yeah, yeah. More than a security yeah. blanket. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, listen, and the artwork, man, it only, I mean, this page is an incredible page, but you sent me a ton of stuff, man. And it just... 
I, I was telling, I was actually telling uh, James about it the other day. I was like, the the interesting thing behind it is it's got kind of that like, um, it, it it it's a strange way of doing it. It has like a like a very water paint type, like it's very, but it has also kind of real. I don't. It's like real psychedelic at times when you're looking at the way you're doing this artwork with it, man. So. Yeah, these uh, these were created uh, with watercolor, um, mm -hmm. and Stefano is just a master at that technique. Uh, and then, like I said, letter squids, you know, just added to that artwork, uh, you know, with his uh, lettering. He did almost all the sound effects, I believe, and also did some audibles on stuff I didn't even think of, which was fantastic. Nice, yeah. But um, yeah. yeah, Brian Brian plans on. Um, doing a Kara Prime Presents series on Kickstarter. Um, nice. And I believe this will be uh, slated for issue three. Okay. Uh, but some other heavy hitters uh, are on there. Uh, Jonathan Hedrick, I believe, uh, from The Recounts, is writing a couple stories. And then I think David Galliano as well. So it's uh, it's going to be uh, something special for sure. I'm, I'm proud to be a part of it. Yeah. Wow. There you go. This is issue three, Brian says. So... Yeah, I dig it. So, uh, Kara Prime uh, did well in its Kickstarter, or not? It didn't, it didn't do Kickstarter. It did uh, Indiegogo? Uh, did a Kickstarter. Kickstarter, Kickstarter yeah. did well. It's so if they if they've done if they've been a part of that Kickstarter, they should be getting the first part already of uh, of the Kara Prime, right? Yeah, I believe he's in uh, the fulfillment stage right now. Nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So what other? I mean, that's amazing, man. So yeah, right now, when what was your? Here we go. There you uh, go, caraprime.com, I'm guessing, has case yeah. bio. There you go. So go to caraprime.com. So, okay. So uh, anyways, uh, oh, nice. Look at that. So you got people shouting you guys out <laughs> on this too. It's amazing. So, well, tell me, like, what, what's, what's your workflow look like when you're pulling off stuff like this, man? Because, I mean, how many stories – this amount of stories, in what time period have you put this amount of stories in? Well, I think uh, Sister Kate was relatively recent, but, uh, you know, 2020 for me uh, afforded me a lot of time to create, you know, uh, like many of us. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I really worked hard um, coming up with ideas, characters, uh, scripting Cat Lady. Uh, and now 2021 is, you know, all about promotion and marketing. And then I was having the itch to to write again. And um you know, for, for me, my best writing is done when, um, you know, there's some sort of emotion involved and, uh, that's my escape, you know, from, from everything. And I get away and just start hamming away, even on my phone, you know, in the notes section. And that, um, you know, turns into a uh, sort of a short story. Sometimes it's even poetic. And, uh, with Stefano, uh, we've been working well together, Marvel style. So I shoot him that story give him a few ideas of what I'm looking for. And, you know, he's a master storyteller, you know, and I just hand uh, the ball off to him and, and he runs with it. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Putting stuff down while you're out, things are happening and you, you slap some things on a note page on your device. Yeah. I, I, I've been doing that like crazy. And I, I was like, why haven't I been doing this all along? Cause something will come to me and I'll get it. And you can, you can weave it into what you have going on or just like you said, it can come across as something almost standalone like prose, you know? Uh, yeah. And, and for the comic format, I mean, when you're <clears throat> sort of working backwards and putting that back into your panels, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's a little bit easier than, than just coming up with it. Uh, yes. The, you know, Yes. I mean, I'm telling you, I, that's something I've learned in this last year or so. I was like, dude, why weren't you doing this before? It's so much. It's not that it makes it easy. It's just the other way is so incredibly difficult, you know, while you're yeah. just spitting it out straight through, you know. Yeah. And especially if I mean, uh, you know, if you've got a day job uh, that, you know, yeah. a lot of time, I mean, your, your time is limited. That's one thing I've learned to do is you know, uh, work uh, as, expeditiously, as expeditiously as possible. Yep. Positively. Well, I dig it, man. I mean, you're just, I'm, but you are, you're putting stuff out like crazy and it's good stuff, man. I, I think it's incredible. And Thank you. Um, so uh, what other projects are coming up in the future? What, what do you got going on next? Yeah. So um, Marcus Roberts, who is the group editor for Harvest of Horrors, um, yeah. He's looking for submissions uh, for volume three. So I reached oh. out to him. Yeah. And he said, uh, 
um, you know, I asked him when uh, submissions are, are due. And he said, uh, November. I'm like, okay. So uh, <laughs> I, I, I knocked out this, this story recently and as, you know, trying to figure out, you know, whose art would be a good fit for it. Um, it's got some psychedelic elements, uh, some circus elements, and, uh, at, you know, it reached out to Stefano again, and he totally dug it. So we're going to be working on that and hopefully get it to Marcus uh, sometime in November. Nice. Um, so I'm working on that. Uh, Sister Kate is uh, in the can just waiting on the cover from Stefano. Um, and then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what uh, what happens next. Now I'm all about, you know, promoting uh, Silence. Silence. Mm -hmm. So uh, is silence gonna how 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 many series is gonna run in silence? Is that is this gonna have an endpoint to it? Is it gonna have seasons? What's, yeah, it, what's the plan on that? It's a uh, three issue series, uh, full story. Um, probably has the potential for a graphic novel down the line. Um, but yeah, it's a standalone story, horror, suspense, thriller. If you enjoy old school Twilight Zone, if you enjoy Tales of the Unexpected. Um, if you enjoy, you know, uh, sort of a dark underdog, uh, you'll really, you'll really enjoy it. That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks. That's cool, man. I Sounds awesome. I'm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. It's funny. I actually just this year got into reading the old school horror, the seventies, <coughs> the early seventies, sixties, seventies stuff. Um, it's great from both. Yeah. Marvel and DC. Uh, and I honestly think DC does it a little better than Marvel. I agree a hundred percent. Yeah. That's, that's their wheelhouse. Yeah. It really so, is. Yeah. I fell into it by accident though. Uh, <clears throat> because you know, that, that garage find we found, you know, last summer or whatever, ton of the books inside of it that, that, that we got out of that were the old school kind of beat up well-read, uh, horror, you know, story. So I didn't have to worry too much about, you know, messing them up when they're already messed up so badly. So I've been right. able to kind of open them up and start reading. They're good them. readers. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. roll them up and put them in your back pocket. <laughs> yeah. Just what you said. Uh, I, I was uh, listening to, to actually, I think this was in person. We were at a con talking to Neil Adams and he was talking about how everybody's collecting and the condition of things, whatever. And he said, yeah, when I was a kid, we, would you know, throw the books at each other and roll them up, stick them in our back pocket and ride our bikes down the street, you know? Yeah. That's straight from Neil himself, but yeah, that's, that's right on the money. Yeah, yeah. No, I just, <laughs> or, I just, or if you're like me, you get little uh, stamps of Snoopy and there you go. <laughs> all the covers. You know, yeah. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. <clears throat> yeah, that's awesome, man. Well, congratulations on all the stuff you're doing, bro. We wish Thank you like the best of luck and and uh, yeah, just keep going, man. I can't wait to get a hold of the silence. Uh, I'll put my order in at the world's greatest local comic book store deadlift collectibles here in Edmond, Oklahoma. Um, we promote them all the time because the dude gives me a discount every time I walk in there. <laughs> nice. He gives me a discount. Every You're such a mercenary, season. man. <laughs> listen, listen. I don't. I mean, I can't help but love the place already, but then when he's throwing in an extra bonus every time I walk in, man, it's like, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's awesome. So I love, uh, I love George's comment there. Yeah, that's hilarious. Look, uh -huh. my man. Oh, actually, it's funny because he is saying that. And I've got a stack <laughs> right now. I've got a stack of Conan's. Um, I literally have stacks of them, and I cannot get enough bags of boards in fast enough. So I've got them like sitting on my desk here, open without bags of boards. Okay, I've I'm, got some silver bags, Terry. Remember? Okay, I, told I need, you. So I need a need bunch, some. bro. I need a bunch. Hey, look, Sal's on. Everyone needs to wish Sal a happy birthday. Hey, Sal. Birthday. Happy birthday. Late. Is it today or was it already? I did it already it was happen? Friday. It was Friday, yeah, because I, I sent him a birthday thing on Facebook. Um, yeah, here, by the way, I'm going to let a secret out as far as getting your uh, bags and boards. Uh, you have to kind of look around, but on Amazon, there's a company. Dang it, I forgot the name of the company, but you can buy uh, 500 at a time boards and bags, and I got silver. And the price was not crazy cheap, but it was decent, and you could actually get your hands on it. You know, nice. uh, and, and so what I did is I did it two times each one. So I brought in a thousand boards and a thousand bags. I said, heck, while I can get it, I'm going to get my hands on it because, you know, I'm going to use them. Yeah, you yeah, know? for sure. For sure. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah I, I'm going to do something because I literally I have. In fact, <coughs> if anyone is interested in Conan the Barbarian, uh, anything under uh, 75 to about 20, I have stacks of them. So get in contact with me and, and uh, we'll set up a deal. So. 
Um, I know. actually have a Conan collection now, thanks to this guy. <laughs> right. Like, if yeah. I have one, I have 10. Like, if I have one of them, I have 10 of them. So, right. Uh, in fact, number 65, I have, I probably have 40 of them. I don't know even what I'm going to do with this many of them. <laughs> I, and, I think I know what I'm getting from for Christmas from you guys. Yes, I was going to yeah, say, it's, it's our thank you gift to everyone who jumps on. I send them yeah. a Conan. It's going to be a Conan <laughs> Christmas. How about you, this, Brian? You're if welcome. you're still listening in, let's do a trade. Let's get some Kara Prime stuff, and we're gonna you're gonna be fixed up with some good Conan yeah, there you material. Go. I'll hook yeah. you up with Conan the Barbarian till it's coming out your <laughs> nose, bro. I got you. So yeah, it's hilarious, man. Um, but yeah, so yeah, good luck and all that. It's been exciting, man. I'm excited to see what you're doing, and uh, thank you. And uh, George is liking some Conan, so George, contact me. I'll sell there you. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'll yeah. make you a good deal, baby. <laughs> yeah, so. and I'm going to throw this in, uh, and I don't want to be gratuitous or anything, but <laughs> honestly, uh, I love seeing what you do next, Evan, and I really appreciate the stuff that you do. Yeah. And for me, when I see it and read it, I'm like, you know, this is somebody I know, and I l look forward to his new material, and I, I mean, I just think it's awesome. And yeah. I love the way you write, and I love the way you think. Thank you. So, that, that definitely yeah. put a smile on my face. Thank you. Yeah. No, I get excited because you, you, you send me a little previews of stuff too. This time was kind of cool because you were like, hey, you know, my faith kind of played a role in this last yeah. book I wrote with uh, sure. Sister Kate. Yeah. And uh, I thought that was kind of cool, man. I was excited to get to, to look at that and read that, man. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, real quick, I mean, uh, you know, without, you know, going into it too much, you know, I think, uh, you know, God sort of puts us in a place uh, for us to make an impact on people. Yeah, for sure. Man. And, uh, you know, some of my stories, uh, you know, I, I love all the stories I've done. But for this one in particular, I thought maybe, um, you know, an, an element of, of faith uh, was a good fit. And, you know, sometimes in life you you wonder, you know, why is this happening? Why is this not happening? And I mean, I'm a true testament to, you know, uh, a miracle. I mean, uh how could someone, you know, uh, this late with this late of a start and my eclectic background, I mean, in law, MBA, uh, uh, you know, having success in comics, uh, you know, the only thing you can attribute it to is faith for sure. Wow. Yeah, come on. That's cool. Love it. Love it. Well, and, you know, I, also, let me just add to that. The reason I was excited about it is because it, it just seems like it's an easy mark to bag on Christianity. Like it's the only religion that gets, to, you know, ever, you know, it, it gets slammed. So, yeah. 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 But on the other side is a lot of people, when they try to write a book and they make it with a, a faith element to it, they go so far the other way with it that it's, it's just, it, it doesn't work either. You know, like when it, when it's a book that like doesn't have anything in it because they're trying to make it geared towards a Christian audience. And so I like the way that you were able to mix both your faith, what you believe with a very solid story that uh, pays you know, pays respect to what you believe, you know, it doesn't abandon your beliefs for kind of an easy, you know, mark or whatever. So I thought it was, I, I really did. I think it's a great story, man. Thank um, you. Really liked it a lot. So thank you. Thank you. I appreciate so, that. You get the nerd pastor seal of approval, my brother. Nice. <laughs> Make it into a stamp. I can put in my comic books. What's Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There you yes. go. There you yes. go. I, I, I'll get that. I'll get on that. I'll come, I'll come back to this and, and uh, rewrite that. So. Thanks, George. We are we're we're comic nerds all, through and through. Most Only, I got these two kids beat. I've been doing it for uh, over fifty years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Why am I bragging? That's stupid. That's hilarious. <laughs> no, the best the best part though it was it before we came on that you gave the story. He gave another story, guys. Before we came on, he goes Shazam. Well, actually, yeah, yeah. The Shazam behind right me goes, over well, your shoulder actually, there. He said, well, yeah. actually, I uh, I rode my bicycle to 7-Eleven. <laughs> yeah, that went up and, bu and bought number out. one. And uh, so I was telling him we were off air, but uh, I read and I read and I read the book. It's still in one piece, but, you know, uh, that's the one that I put the little Snoopy stamp remarks all over oh the cover gosh. here and there. That's hilarious. You know? Well, so. when we get some when we get some nerds, my, my nerd swag TV uh, shirts, one of them is just going to be. I rode my bike to 7-Eleven to get that. It'll just be a shirt that yep. says that. Yeah. No or we're going to we're going to have a uh, Hulk 181 on there and say I rode my bike to 7-Eleven <laughs> in 1974 when I was 10 years old. That's going to take up after the whole I threw show. my we'll papers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to be the holes. I threw All papers right. first and I bought oh it with gosh. quarters, man, because that's yeah. how they paid me. That's hilarious. Yeah. Well, Evan, we don't want to keep you up all, uh, up on here all night. We're going to we're going to let you get back to probably you probably have four or five more stories that you need to pound out as soon as we uh, let you go. 
I actually have some cats to attend to. Oh yeah, better feed those. <laughs> better feed those. Better feed them. Honest to goodness, bro. I'm not getting a cat now. I'm just telling you. I'll keep. I'll, I'll keep the strays happy out out and out outside. So that's yeah. awesome, man. So yeah, yeah. Referring they, back to the book as we close out, guys. Cat yeah. lady is his story in here. It and, okay. and, and it, the in case art you guys missed and the story is incredible on it. So thank you. And we're Everything not just about it because you're on that. It was a really great story. It, it, it had a solid ending. What I like about it too is it is a good, solid short story. Like it, 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 it has everything you need in it. Just it, it, it's good, man. It was a really good story, bro. So thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Honestly. So, and uh, yeah. Anyway, so yeah. Get on, get on Amazon. Look up his last name. It's Harvest of Horrors number two, the anthology series, and this is a team up between Second Sight and uh, Caliber. Caliber. Calories, so, yeah. and you're gonna have that at Walmart. That's cool, man. So that is pretty cool. That's epic, bro. It'll be yeah. right next to the Marvel three packs <laughs> that are destroying the variant industry. Yeah, yeah. No, Don't get me started. We're not going down that path. <laughs> yeah. So that's. I was hilarious. gonna say James can ride his bike up to get it. Yes, he that's will. Exactly yes, right. He yes. Will. Yes, he will. That's hilarious. I have to get some new playing cards to put in my spokes first, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious, man. All right. Well, Evan, thanks again for hopping on with us, man. You have a great night. Thank you, guys. Great to see you, man. Likewise. Well, that was a great interview, man. It was fun hanging out with Evan. Oh, yeah. Dude. We've had this conversation. Some of our best interviews and shows, guess who they involve? Oh, yeah. Talking to Evan, yeah. right? Evan, Evan's a blast Serious. to hang out with. Yeah. 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 Evan's a blast to hang out with. And, and dude, honestly, and, and I know I know we sound like fanboys, but He's one of those guys that if you hear he's if he's with a story or he's with uh he's with something, you know you're gonna get a good story out of it. Um, exactly. Exactly. I think, I think a lot of it comes from he likes comic books. Like he likes the he likes the genre of writing stories that are made for comic books, you know. And uh and so the, you you could just tell that he has that going on with it. So. Yeah. And see, and I recognize the stuff that he does. This is let's let's how do I say this? What I do once in a while when I'm trying to write or create and I go, man, that's that was good, dude. That's brilliant. That's what he does all the time. That's right. right? Yeah. <laughs> so well, George, yeah. when are you gonna write us a story, man? Let's write us let's let's get a story going. Let's get a let's get you out on one, man. Yeah. Th then you can get then, something written and submit it uh, then you know, the people for a short that, story that anthology. You've done reviews from they can do a, a live stream and review your story. It'd be a win win. So so anyways, that's awesome, man. So, well, uh, well let's see. What else? You, you're going to be off at some Comic-Cons here pretty oh, soon, Oh, yeah. Right? Grand Island Comic-Con. I was going to ask. I, I, I don't think Evan's going to be there, but I was going to ask him. Grand Island in Nebraska next weekend. Uh, the opening night, Friday night, is actually – there's a theater in this complex where the, the, the event is going to be held. Yeah. And they're going to do a showing of, I think it's like The Last Starfighter, you know, a good oh, nice. old retro movie. Yeah. And uh, so that's Friday evening. And we're going to get into town in the afternoon on Friday, get everything set up. And so it'll be the, the actual con itself will be Saturday and Sunday. And there's another great reason. Of course, I've been trying to get on here for two years because 19, I didn't quite make it. 20 was a wash. Yeah. And now finally, we're going to make it. This will be the first time I've seen our artist Jim Mesling from Des Moines, Iowa wow. for, since uh, January of 20, we were in yeah. New Orleans and that was the end of the deal right after yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So well, it's going to, it'll be good. Yeah. That's awesome, man. So if anyone's want to come see you, it, do you know if there's a website they need to find out or probably just do a website? Grand Island search. Comic Con, Grand Island Comic Con three, I think. Yeah. This is the third one they've had. Nice. Yeah. So if you are in the area, you should take, you should spend a couple extra bucks, head to the show. Um, well, I always joke about James. James will sign any book you buy from him. He Absolutely. Will. For Every free. Time. And it's a cool. 99 cool. 99 value. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Come on. So. <laughs> yeah, dude, uh, I sure. made my kids watch. I, I, I had my kids watch uh, The Last Starfighter uh, last year, too. And they were like, ah, uh, I don't understand why you thought this is a great movie. I was like, you don't. And we're watching it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Eventually, so. you'll get it. You'll have an yeah, epiphany. You know, the beatings yeah. will continue until morale until improves. Improves. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Well, uh, yeah. So, guys, uh, check that out. Um, we're going to be launching some new content, um, including uh, the sermon, not the sermon, but the church service that we had 
at my church where Sam Jones was there. I'm actually piecing together the sermon. Uh, it's not a sermon. It was an interview we did live during church. Yes. And uh, it was a great time. Uh, Sam's one of those epic dudes that when you hang out with him, he makes you feel like you're, you're, you're like, he makes you feel like you're the, 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 his best friend, you know? And yep. so getting to hang out with him was a lot of fun. Everyone that met him loved him, you know, everywhere we went, people loved him. And so it was a lot of, it was a great time hanging out with him. Um, I've got some, uh, interviews we did at the uncanny con or uncanny con, uncanny con, uncanny con. Yeah. That one. Uncanny um, comic book. Yeah. It, Yeah. It was the uncanny con. We just call it that yeah. in Shawnee, Oklahoma. Yeah. Yeah. So I got, I got some yeah. interviews coming out with that. Uh, we just met with some people and, uh, and we've got some uh, other artists and authors lined up to talk with maybe a couple, uh, maybe a couple other people that are nerd culture world. What would you say? Pop culture uh, right. icons. Right. We're, we're working on having some interviews with. And, Absolutely. Uh, it's going to yeah. be fun, man. So we're back on. We're here. We're ready to go. And, uh, man, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. James, you want the last word? Uh, last word. I don't know, guys. Uh, just like Terry said, we're getting back into this. I, I guess it was in July and first part of August. We was kind of a, we were on a big hiatus. Yeah. And then we and then we came back. We've had so many things going on. But we're going to try to stick with it. Uh, next Sunday, I'll see if I can get on and we can do this because I'm still going to be in Nebraska. But we'll yeah. figure it out because if not, it'll, you can just do it. And we'll just go from there and I'll, I'll comment. I'll just type little comments on there while we're, <laughs> while we're going along. We'll see. We'll, we'll play it by ear, but well, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll maybe send you with some equipment or something and we'll see what we pull off. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll have that lovely wife of yours. You, you guys may not know this or not, but James and his lovely wife, Doreen have celebrated 25 years. 20. Holy matrimony. 20, 20. <laughs> we're look, yeah, we're looking for 20, 25, but yeah, yeah 20 I, is I right now. You know. Okay. 20 years of holy matrimony. So congratulations, you two. It was awesome. So thank you very much. We're in a big party bus and had a great time. Oh yeah. Hey, let's throw this in. We were talking about Sam a minute ago. Yeah. We did it. We did a FaceTime call on the party bus last night <laughs> and here's the deal. Here's how good a guy Sam is. We were busy. I was, you know, thinking, I know there was mountain time and the time was different. I thought, since it was almost 11 here, it was almost 10 there. No, no, no. It was almost 12 there. Wow. And so I sent him a message and I was like, oh man, sorry. You know, and he was like, I'm ready. Let's do it. Nice. So we, I've got it recorded. I haven't, I'm having trouble finding the audio there, but anyway, he just did a, a little FaceTime thing. And, uh, I don't, I don't think we heard much of what he said because everybody was yelling. <laughs> <back there. laughs> and you can see him just smiling. He's yeah. like, oh, my gosh, I'm so glad I didn't go on this thing. That's hilarious. No. <laughs> well, that's epic. Well, congratulations on that, brother. So thank you. Hey, as always, you can get a hold of the Bobcat stuff at the Bobcat.net and on Facebook, the Bobcat comic book. And, and Amazon.com. Uh, and Amazon, if you want them to beat the snot out of your book, yeah. treat it, like spank it. Tell it dirty things. I you know what I did? Comic on it. It's up to y'all, but I, I was so aggravated by the way they bent the book up. Yeah. I did live. I got live chat on there, and I got somebody on there. And I told them what they did, and they were like, "We're sending you another one now, and it will not happen again." Oh, no, so they I, sent another one. Here's the crazy thing: I told them to put it in something rigid because it was in a soft bag, so they could beat it up. They didn't put it in anything rigid, <laughs> but the one that came in, you could tell whoever had it was like. Okay, here you go. That's you know, hilarious. instead of like, there's your book, you know. So, so I, the the one I got in after that, I've got uh, it's bagged and boarded. George, it is bagged, boarded, and re and protected. Way to go! This one brother. is the one that's all bent up, and I'm going to read it, and I'm going to roll it up and stick it in my back pocket yeah. while I ride my bike to Seven yeah. Eleven. I dig it, man. I so. dig it. We are making, we're making, I got that at Seven Eleven shirt. We're going to make a shirt like that. That's awesome. So. I think it's great. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a wonderful night, and we will see you next Sunday. Also, be looking for some new content to drop randomly throughout the next couple of weeks. As always, we love you a little more than a friend. It's true. That's right. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs>